In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about amps. In the previous videos, or if you have uh, looked through the content management system content for the class, you may notice I also focused on XAMP and MAMP. Prior, those were two uh, kind of uh, local testing elements that we focused on for Windows and Mac. However, we now have what is called AMP Stack that also offers the same type of abilities as far as being able to test locally whenever it comes to content management systems, but also too, it works both on Windows and Mac OS. So you can stay consistent across your, uh, your work computers. So when you download it and install it, it's just like if you're doing XAMPP and MAPS. So you want to choose your location, etc. And then what you're going to get is whenever you boot it up here is you are going to have, and I'll go ahead and bring this over here. You're going to have this little pop up here that's going to be AMPS and it's going to show you what's currently running. So right now I have Apache and my SQL going, but then you also have this menu across the top as far as home, working with the admin and things like that. One thing that I just want to show you here is when you're working with AMPS in the root directory. So in my case, AMPS is installed in the program files. I'm going to go up one level here just to show that similar to its counterparts, MAMP and XAMP, you still have that www folder, which is going to become really important as far as whenever you are installing and testing and working with the different content management systems. So again, you have a different UI. Can you still do the same exact things if you prefer XAMP or MAMP? Yes. I just wanted to make this video to show that you do have the option here. If you'd prefer to use AMP, you can. So it'll still open up as far as, you know, you can access the local host. You can also go to the AMP's home area and all those other elements, the same things you would have as XAMPP and MAMP. So it is a personal preference, which you would like to use. I've started to favor AMPS myself more so than the other two, just because I do work between Windows and Mac OS. So I've kind of started to make the shift over here into AMPS. But again, if you're saying I only work in Windows or I only work in Mac OS, you may prefer XAMPP or MAMPS. So, and that's just introducing and showing you as far as what AMPS is and what its capabilities are.